Hello friends, this video on redox reaction part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The sigma example, we had to predict the reaction between the following is feasible. Fe plus 3, I minus and all this. For this, we'll just follow the, now go to the slide we have, the last slide where we have the chart. And with that, we can tell. So let's take Fe 3 plus and I minus, right? So we have these reactions. The reaction we'll have is a balanced reaction if we have this is Fe3 plus. Uh, we'll take one electron to give Fe2 plus and I minus will give I2. Let's balance this 2I minus and sorry, this will give one electron. This will give you two electrons here. Let's multiply this 2 by 2 both sides so that we can balance the charge, right? This is the two, two uh, what do you call, reactions we have. Let's try to find the electron volt for both of these, right? So for uh, Fe2, 3 plus 2 Fe2. So Fe3 plus 2 Fe2 plus, we have this guy and 0.77, right? So let's write the value. This guy is... 0.77 correct the next is i t to i i to i minus so let's see if i have that value there guy 0.54 so this is i2 to i minus is 0.54 so i minus to i2 will be minus 0.54 correct so it will be minus 0.54 this is plus this is minus hope you understand why see i2 to i2 i minus i d into i i d to i d ion is 0.54 so i d ion to i d will be minus 0.54 correct now if you see in this case it was correct in this case we multiply with two right so Fe3 plus 2 Fe2 was 0.77, but it multiplied with 2 also in this case, we multiply with 2. So let's add now. So 0.77 into 2, that is 1.54 minus this. That will come out to be 1 volt actually. So it is positive, so it is feasible. Correct. Let's take the second one, which in the cup. So I'm taking this guy now. So this is Ag plus NCU. So the reaction will be something like this. Ag plus plus electron will give you Ag. And Cu will need electron, right? Cu becomes Cu plus 2. So Cu has to become Cu 2 plus, so it will give 2 electron, right? So it is 2, it is 1, so let's multiply this also by 2. Correct. So now let's go to the chart and see for Ag plus to Ag, what is the value? So Ag plus to Ag is 0.8. So into 2 we have, so 0.8 into 2 plus, right? Volt for this. Now Cu to Cu plus 2. So Cu plus 2 to Cu is 0 0.34. So Cu to Cu plus 2 will be minus 0 0.34. This is minus 0.34. So you add this, you get 1.6 minus 0.34. The positive number, right? So that means this is also physical. Correct. Let's take the third one. It is Fe3 plus and Cu, right? So Fe3 plus will try to become Fe2 plus and will give one electron. Correct. Similarly, Cu will become Cu2 plus. We we'll give two electron. So this is one, this is two, it will multiply this thing by two. And then you will add, you will get the balanced reaction, right? Because you will get cancelled. Now let's go to the chart and see for Fe3 plus 2 Fe2 plus. Fe3 to Fe2 is 0 0.77, 0 
and 0.77 into 2 is the value here so 0.77 into 2 4 positive let's take for cu to cu uh, plus 2 so for cu plus 2 to cu it is 0.34 so for cu to cu plus 2 will be minus 0.34 so it is minus 0.34 you solve this this becomes 1.54 minus 0 0.34 1.2 volt it's all the positive so it is also visible let's take the next reaction silver and fe plus 3 the reaction is my silver becomes ag plus gives my electron my iron fe3 plus is reduced to fe2 plus and it takes electron Let's go to the chart and see the board. So for I have Ag to Ag plus. I have Ag plus to Ag it was 0.8. So from Ag to Ag plus oxidized it, it will be minus 0.8 volt. Similarly Fe plus to Fe plus 3 it got reduced. So Fe plus 3 to Fe plus uh, it got reduced is 0.77. So it will be plus 0.77 volt. So you find total because it's all cancelling, so you need to multiply. You find total, it is minus 0 0.03 volt. So it is not visible. Correct. Let's take the next example. So I have Br2 and Fe plus 2. So the reaction goes like this: Fe2 plus will oxidize to become Fe3 plus, right? Because there's a property of iron. Br2 will get reduced to give 2br minus so here we will have one electron here we have two electrons right so we will multiply this thing by 2 and if you add you will get the balanced equation right so now if you see let's go to the table for iron reduction uh, for iron oxidation actually here now so iron fe2 2 fe3 right so iron is oxidized so it will become minus 0.77 right because 2 to 3 so the moment you oxidize you have to uh, it will be negative it's minus 0.77 into 2 right into 2 because 2 iron and for bromine it is getting reduced so for br let me find this guy 1.09 plus 1.09 so if you add this this is uh, minus 1 point let me write here minus 1.54 plus 1.09 it is negative only it is some negative value minus 3.5 minus 3.5 yeah so what is 4.5 actually so this is a negative value that means it is not possible so as you see you have a combination given you just have to find the net electron volt if it is positive that means this is uh, feasible if it is not positive it is that, that means it is not visible. so we have to arrange the metals in the order uh, uh, in which they can display solution uh, from the salt so this is something I know already so we have uh, if you see the reducing power magnesium aluminium zinc iron and copper this is I'm talking about the reducing power This is why because magnesium will try to become Mg plus 2 because more stable. Aluminium will try to become Al plus, Al3 plus, this is 2 plus. Because it is more stable, right? So zinc also will try to become zinc 2 plus. But magnesium will try to want to become uh, Mg2 plus more desperately than zinc. And this is something which we have studied in the atom chapter where we have discussed that everybody wants to attain stability. All the atoms want to attain stability and some are more uh, uh, active because even if they lose only one electron and they can lose one electron very fast and they will become stable right same thing with the mg and copper or mg and iron if you compare you'll see that so if you want to understand more it was the atom chapter where we've discussed these things in details so the question says given the standard electric potentials for uh, all these we have to arrange in the order of reducing power right reducing power is you can say that uh, uh, the 
which can reduce right or which can oxidize easily all right so which can oxidize easily so let's write everything in oxidized form so oxidize k to k plus will be what it is k plus 2k was minus 2.3 volt so it will be plus 2.93 volt similarly silver to silver plus will be what it will be minus 0.8 volt correct just slip it hg to hg plus will be what minus 0.79 volt mg to mg plus 2 will be what or mg2 plus will be what plus 2.37 volt and cr to cr3 plus will be what 0.74 volt this means that potassium will become potassium ion and it will give this much volt that means it is more desperate right the maximum value is this it is the most desperate so this guy has the highest well the next guy will be this guy right because after 2.93 2.37 is the less value mg this is done all right here and then we have uh, next least value is i have this this one chromium was the value at least chromium 0.7 and then out of these which is least the least is uh, minus 0.80 and this is the next one so this i write here and this I'll write. so this one is the highest reducing power correct the last question it says we have the galvanic cell this reaction is happening this is zinc 2 plus and this is ag plus so we have to say which electrode is negatively charged so i have this zinc plus here it will be zinc sulfate and i have here this. right now i have zinc here or i have ag here so which electrode is negatively charged so if you see here the reaction will be zinc will become zinc plus 2 and give two electrons and this electron will be used by silver ion to give silver so if you see at zinc end right at this we have more electrons right more and more electrons correct so if we have more electrons here what will happen this guy will be negatively charged hope you understand since at zinc side we have more electrons coming out right so zinc will be negative charged so zinc electrode will be negative charged correct and the silver electrode will be positive charged this is clear this is done the carriers of the electron are current in the cell is what electrons obviously electrons are, are the ions ions or e minus they are the electron carriers and we have to find the individual reaction in each electron this is the individual reaction this is at the positive this is at sorry this is at the negative and this is at the thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again